We'll call the special meeting to order. <laughs> as soon as you get the system. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Bauman? Here. Berg? Here. Bonet? Here. Doyle? Here. Graf? Excuse? Manny? Here. Montemayor? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Rienfleisch? Here. Stefan? Excuse? Van Akron? Here. Vanderweel? Here. <clears throat> Wangerman? Here. Warner? Here. Weniger? Here. 14 present. Forms present. Redevelopment Authority have to call roll. Yes. I call the Redevelopment Authority together. Uh, take roll. Uh, Jack Lewis, uh, Gordon Schneider, Joel Brockman, Pam Gottsacker, Dick Myers, and Andrew Wooding. Uh, five members present. Thank you. Steve, I will turn it over to you. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, the uh, the item on the agenda is to uh, grant another extension, or grant an extension uh, of permission to uh, the Great Lakes entities to uh, conduct certain construction work uh, on the Blue Harbor project in the absence of a final development agreement through uh, July 14th. That's set forth in the letter that's, uh, I believe you've got a copy of. Uh, we obviously don't have a signed development agreement yet. It, it's the developers feeling that we will be uh, able to close by July 14th. Um, so they've requested this extension. The letter that's in front of you is uh, almost identical to the uh, the prior permission letter uh, in, in all respects, the only changes are the reference to the prior letter that granted the uh, permission through June 30th. Uh, there's also an attachment to the letter from Kramer Brothers that indicates the uh, type of work that they would be uh, anticipating starting on the site through July 14th and uh, most of that is uh, or the first uh, four or five of those items are the same as in the prior permission uh, the last two or three the site electrical building footings and foundation walls and base course installation that's base course for the uh, parking lots uh, those are new items that uh, we've been advised that they may start or would like to start footings and foundation walls next Monday um, so they would have basically a week to work on that prior to uh, uh, closing of the project. Um, the, the agreement as, as the prior letter contained contains a provision that Turn to it here. On page four, it's item five B. Says work authorized under the present letter may be terminated at any time for the city's convenience or by the city for any reason. You agree to stop operations immediately upon such direction from the city, without prejudice to the generality of the foregoing. The present permission is rescinded if the development agreement is not executed by July 14th. Uh, what that means is that should there be some reason that uh, we wish to have them cease operations prior to July 14th, we would have the ability to do that. Uh, but in any event, this permission would only extend to through July 14th. Uh, the, the blank on the first page uh, references the, the city wrote a letter on June, that would be June 17th. Um, and then, <clears throat> The only other change to the, uh, the letter as it's before the council would be uh, the signature lines at the back, uh, assuming the council approves and the redevelopment authority approves, should be dated today's date, which would be July 1st. Um, and 
the, the original document, we've added signature lines for Blue Harbor Resort Sheboygan LLC and Blue Harbor Resort Condominium LLC. The, the document that we got emailed just had acceptance by the Great Lakes companies. The original agreement was accepted by all three entities because they're all three are addressees to this letter and uh, they would be added also as as accepting and agreeing to this extension. Uh, if there's any questions, we'd be happy to try any to Any questions, Council? Alder Preston? Alder McPress? Thank you, Honor. I guess I just figured you give us a little update on what's going on, what's, what's, what's holding it up. Um, there, a lot of it has to do still with lender issues, things that both uh, their proposed lender for the resort project and uh, potential lenders for the condominium portion of the project uh, are raising as far as uh, uh, concerns with city priority as far as uh, you know if there's a if there's a foreclosure or something like that uh, that still have to be worked out. Um, it's, I can say it's not the city that's holding things up at this point. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we've been very punctual with getting documents to them for comment and uh, it's taken them a while to respond to those and they, uh, as issues arise, uh, primarily through their lenders, uh, they filter to the developer and the developer filters them back to us wanting to propose additional changes to the documents. Um, we, uh, our outside counsel, I, I believe today, emailed them a checklist of items for closing. There's also a number of items that will be required for closing, uh, items that they need to provide, one of which is an ALTA survey, a survey done by, uh, that meets certain standards done by a surveyor of the site that uh, they haven't completed and provided to us. There's a uh, bunch of other documents that they need to provide to us before closing and um, it's just uh, overall it's it's a complicated project uh, there are a lot of issues that arise um, some of them substantive some of them not very significant but um, they need to all be sorted out before we can really close like you said we are ready to go we have our ducks in a row we're ready to move forward uh, we're just waiting for them, and they ask for the extension until July 14th, and they assure us that they will be ready to go by July 14th. So, look forward to that. Any other questions? Anyone? Alderman Horner. I thank you, Your Honor. I would just say that after looking through this, I see that the staff has done its job to make sure the city is pretty well protected on this, and, and I feel pretty comfortable with it, so I hope we can all support this tonight. Thank you. Could I have a motion on that? And that I would make a motion authorizing the mayor to grant an extension of the city of Sheboygan for the Blue Harbor project developer to commence certain construction work. Your Honor, if I sure I, go ahead. Mike, Alderman Warner, if you could indicate in your motion that that would be to July 14th or th uh, through July yeah. 14th, 2000. And I would agree with that. Okay. okay. If there's no other discussion. Pat, would you call the roll, please? I didn't mind my absent ones. <clears throat> Berg? Aye. Bonnet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderwil? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weininger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. 14 eyes. Motion carried. Redevelopment authority? Thank you. Move to second to adjourn under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Both. <laughs>